One of the big issues out there we've been hearing a lot about is protective equipment and gear for people in the medical field. News 19's Chandler Mack takes a closer look. Having a shortage of supplies in the healthcare field, and especially for those on the front line, is just not something that's acceptable. And we just wanted to help out in any way we could see fit. Health science teachers from across the state are donating their medical supplies to facilities in need during the coronavirus pandemic. The supplies include over 50,000 gloves and close to 10,000 face masks. The teachers usually use the supplies to train high school students, but since schools are not in session, they decide the supplies should go to first responders who are in need. I've got over 50 schools so far that have contacted me of where they've donated their supplies, and um, they are multiplying daily. Um, I have, they're coming in daily of what I've, I've donated so far. We've uh, donated over a thousand face shields and almost a thousand N95 masks and um, gosh, thousands of uh, isolation gowns and gloves and different things like that. The program has donated to over 100 different hospitals and medical facilities in the state, and they will continue to donate supplies until the crisis is over. As you know, with this virus, we don't know 100% of what's going on and how everything's happening. So just minimizing risk between both the patient and the healthcare worker um, is the best thing to do. If there's anybody in need across the state, uh, they can let South Carolina DHEC know. We started this back in March, and I feel sure that, it, you know, we'll probably keep on doing this until all the schools run out of their supplies. For a full list of the supplies donated and the hospitals they went to, head over to our website, WLTX.com.